Hey guys, somebody asked me about the core boot um, firmware on the System76 Galago Pro. Um, that's what I got right here. Um, and I can show you the options. What a lot of people don't realize, again, I just hit escape just to get in here. There's really nothing to show. Unlike a traditional firmware where you have all the different settings um, that you can set like memory timings and, and usually not on a laptop but like on a desktop, you know, you have like multipliers and all these different options. There really isn't in the core boot firmware. Uh, the whole point of it is it's actually very, very lightweight. Um, it just has the minimum amount of code to basically set everything up um, as good as best as it can, um, performance-wise, and then just boot the OS. That's why Core Boot is so fast. So when you enter the firmware, it's mostly just a boot menu. As you can see, those are really the only options you've got. Now in here, by the way, it just reminded me to get this video because I just updated the firmware. As you can see, it's April 7. And so I can either boot the default. I can do a one-time boot if I have multiple OSs, or I can change the boot order. And configuration menu basically just gives you information. It doesn't give you anything to change. Virtualization is on. TPM is active. And of course, the Intel management engine is enabled. Unfortunately, they couldn't disable the Tiger Lake engine management because it's just a different, uh, there's something wrong with uh, sleep if you use, if you disable engine management, uh, you can read more about it on their website or search for the information, but um, Intel changed the way they did uh, power management, so that's why they uh, had to enable in management engine to, for power management to work better. Um, it has something to do with sleep mode. Um, so, yeah, uh, if I recall, it had something to do with sleep mode, and if you have this off, it would be taking, like, a lot, you know, like, probably losing, like, 10% um, every hour or something like that, versus, like, right now, uh, with it enabled, you're only taking, like, 3% or 5%, something like that. People are still complaining that it's high. Um, so, I don't know if it's been fixed with the newer firmware, but we will see. But anyways, yeah, somebody asked about looking at the firmware options. There isn't, there isn't anything, there's nothing to do here, you know? Um, Memory-wise, I was told that uh, it does not, um, it does not support XMP profiles. You really have to use JDEC, J-E-D-E-C, uh, memory profile. So I actually found some HyperX memory. Um, if I remember the, if I can get the part code numbers, I can, I'll put it on the description below. Um, but um, the lowest timing memory I think I was able to find uh, for JDEC um, was like, I think it was 20 or 22, uh, CL20 or 22, so. Um, so just be careful with that and that's it. I'm out. Bye.